Have you ever wondered how much of our human evolution is still a mystery to us? Evolution, that grand process which has shaped us into the beings we are today, is still full of enigmas. Theories abound, each attempting to cast light on the shadowy corners of our past. They seek to unravel the complex web of our ancestry, to explain our journey from primordial life forms to the sophisticated creatures we are now. One such theory that offers a unique perspective is the aquatic ape theory. The aquatic ape theory, first proposed in the 1960s, offers a different viewpoint on human evolution. This theory's genesis is attributed to the marine biologist Alistair Hardy, who served as a professor at the University of Oxford. Hardy, a gentleman of science, was always intrigued by the mysteries of human evolution. He observed the physiological and behavioral similarities between humans and aquatic mammals, and this led to his groundbreaking proposal. Hardy's theory suggested that our ancestors had an aquatic phase during their evolutionary journey, living in water-rich environments. This, he argued, could explain certain distinctive human traits, such as our upright posture, our lack of body hair, and our ability to control our breath. Hardy's theory, however, was not immediately celebrated. It was met with skepticism and controversy, largely because it challenged the prevailing views on human evolution. Despite its controversial nature, the aquatic ape theory has persisted and evolved over the decades. So what exactly does the aquatic ape theory propose? Well, let's dive in, shall we? The aquatic ape theory, or more appropriately termed the aquatic ape hypothesis, suggests a rather fascinating twist in the tale of human evolution. It proposes that our ancestors, the apes, underwent a significant period of adaptation to a semi-aquatic lifestyle before they evolved into bipedal humans. Picture this. Our ape-like ancestors wading in water, foraging for food, and adapting to survive in this watery environment. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? But what led to this hypothesis? What evidence points to our ancestors leading a semi-aquatic life? For starters, let's consider our subcutaneous fat. Unlike other primates, humans have a layer of fat beneath their skin. This feature is shared with other marine mammals, which utilize this fat for insulation in water. Could this be a relic of our aquatic past? Next, let's discuss our hair, or rather, the lack thereof. Most primates are covered in body hair, but humans, we're rather bald in comparison. This lack of body hair is another characteristic we share with aquatic mammals. Did we lose our fur to become more streamlined swimmers? Finally, our upright posture. While other apes can occasionally stand on two legs, humans are the only primates who walk upright all the time. One theory suggests this bipedalism developed as our ancestors waded through water, where standing upright would allow them to keep their heads above the surface. In short, the aquatic ape theory suggests that our ancestors were not just swinging from trees, but also splashing around in water. It proposes that this semi-aquatic lifestyle played a crucial role in shaping the humans we are today. The aquatic ape theory provides a compelling argument for these human characteristics, which are unique among primates. It's a theory that invites us to look at human evolution from a different perspective, a perspective that might just might have more than a grain of truth to it. How has the scientific community received the aquatic ape theory? Well, it's been a mixed bag of reactions. On one hand, the theory faced considerable criticism and skepticism. Many scientists argued that it lacked solid empirical evidence and was largely speculative. They noted that while intriguing, the theory was based on interpretations of human anatomy that could be explained by other, more conventional evolutionary theories. On the other hand, the aquatic ape theory found champions amongst a subset of researchers. These proponents pointed out how the theory provided a plausible explanation for certain unique human traits, such as our relative hairlessness compared to other primates, and our ability to control our breath voluntarily, both of which could be adaptations to a semi-aquatic lifestyle. This blend of skepticism and support has kept the aquatic ape theory in the limelight, sparking debates and discussions that push the boundaries of our understanding. While it remains controversial, the aquatic ape theory continues to inspire debate and discussion about our evolutionary history. In the end, the aquatic ape theory is a fascinating piece of our quest to understand human evolution. This theory posits that our ancestors underwent significant evolutionary changes during a semi-aquatic phase, leading to unique human traits. It's a controversial but intriguing notion, sparking diverse viewpoints and opening up fresh conversations about our origins. The theory challenges the conventional perspective, prompting us to reconsider what we know about evolution. 
whether you find it convincing or not, the aquatic ape theory certainly gives us food for thought about our evolutionary past.